Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we shall be considering nucleic acids. Nucleic acids. These are naturally occurring acids in cells of living organisms. Basically, they are polymers of uh, nucleotide monomers. Uh, don't get confused. Polymers. Polymerization just means the linking up, the joining up of units, subunits to make a long, big uh, unit, you know. So when we say polymers, we are talking about a molecule that has been, that was made from connection or linking up of smaller building blocks. So in this case, nucleic acids, they are polymers of nucleotides. Nucleotides. Okay, nucleotide monomers. These nucleotides are just single units. So we call them monomers. Monomers, okay? Mono from one. The nucleotides are the building units of, um, of DNA. Nucleotides are the building units of RNA, okay? So the building blocks, the, the, the sub blocks that make up uh, DNA or make up RNA, the, the, their building block is called nucleotides. You may want to go look up one of my previous videos where I treated structure of DNA. In that, uh, in that previous video, you would know a lot about nucleotide we looked at the structure of nucleotides all right so um multiple nucleotides linked up together in order to give us polymers all right to give us polymers of nucleic acids so um nucleic acids as i said uh, being they are naturally occurring they are found in uh, living cells and uh, they are divided into, we can divide them into DNA and uh, RNA. Okay, so we want to look at DNA and RNA or differences between DNA and RNA, which these two being the major nucleic acids that we have. All right. So let's us um, work with a table for ease of understanding. So we have here DNA, we have here RNA. Sorry, RNA. Okay, so let us say meaning or name. This is like meaning. So this is deoxyribonucleic acid, deoxy ribonucleic acid and this is ribonucleic acid nucleic acid all right okay this is the oxy because on the second carbon of the pentose sugar there is absence of the hydroxyl group or specifically just the oxygen is missing and you are left with the hydrogen there and that is why where we got the name deoxyribonucleic and this one has the hydroxy group so the pentose sugar here is a ribose uh, sugar so um the other thing we may want to look at is uh, it, their stability DNA is relatively stable. It's, it's very stable. Okay. But RNA is less stable. What do we mean when we say something is stable in science or in molecular uh, biology? We mean like the span of life. This one has a longer life. All right. You, you can get the molecule and you come back after some time, you still meet it. It's stable, okay? But this one has a short life. 
Okay. So let us see their functions. This one stores genetic uh, material. This, is, this one basically for storage of genetic material. And that storage is like it's static, a static form of storage, digital storage, hereditary um, uh, units, hereditary materials, they are, they, are, they are kept in DNA, in the form of DNA, all right? Whereas um, the, the RNA serves in, in the function of gene expression. It serves in copying of gene is, and taking it for translation. So let us just say that this one serves in gene expression. This, this serves in gene as expression. Okay, you will, you, will, you will agree with me that both DNA and RNA are so vital to life. They are all used to bring, to bring about the continuity of life. Without this nucleic acid, there will be no perpetuation of life. There will be no continuation of life as we have it today. All right? So these two uh, nucleic acids, they, they play that major uh, uh, role. Okay? So uh, the other um, uh, function, the other thing that we can differentiate between uh, uh, DNA and uh, RNA, let's, let us say they are bases, uh, bases, uh, bases that make them up. Here we have uh, A, adenine, cytosine, um, beg your pardon, thiamine, and guanine. These are the bases, the four bases that are found in DNA. But in, in RNA, we have adenine, cytosine, uracy, and guanine. Okay? There is no Timing in uh, in uh, in in RNA, whereas uh, in DNA you have uh, timing. Okay. So what about the backbone, the structure? In terms of structure, the backbone of um, of, of 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 DNA is the deoxyribophosphate, deoxyribosugar, and phosphate. Deoxy. So you have you have the the carbon five of the deoxyribose uh, uh, sugar linking to the next nucleotide by via a phosphodiester group to the third carbon of the next sugar. So you always have a deoxyribose uh, sugar, uh, uh, carbon five phosphate group, and then carbon three of the next uh, nucleotide, then the, the pentose sugar, then you, you have the carbon five again, and then the, uh, the phosphate group, and then carbon three of the next one. So it's always like a, a deoxy, uh, pentose, uh, it's often like a deoxy, um, phosphate group, uh, carbon three, and so on and so forth. So that is like the, the, the backbone. So the backbone here is deoxy ribo, okay, uh, uh, by versus deoxyribose, okay? Here we just say ribose, okay? Uh, okay, deoxyribose, and over there we have ribose. You know, I'm, I'm just talking about this structure. I say you could find that in, in, in our last, uh, uh, in my video, on, um, on a video on the structure of DNA. You will always find this uh, there, okay? So you, you will do well to just go, uh, Check it out. That's that's what I call uh, the backbone. So, how about the electromagnetic uh, radiation? Um, in the for the radiation, okay, this one is unstable in UV rays. DNA is less stable; is affected by UV rays. Okay, whereas uh, RNA is less affected by UV rays or more stable under UV rays. So RNA tends to be more stable under UVAs, while ultraviolet rays, okay? So this is more, more stable 
in ultraviolet UV uh, resistant. Let's just uh, say it that way, UV resistant, okay? Whereas this one is UV uh, vulnerable, okay? Vulnerable or unstable. UV vulnerable or unstable. Unstable or affected by UV rays, uh, whereas the RNA is uh, resistant or more stable to UV uh, rays. The other uh, points that differentiate these two is uh, location. Let us look at location. Okay. DNA is located um, in the nucleus. It's tightly packed in the nucleus in the form of uh, 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 chromosomes. All right. DNA is located in the nucleus. But apart from that, a small fraction of DNA is also located in some organelles, organelles found outside of the nucleus. Particularly, we are talking about mitochondria DNA. Okay, so in animal cell, DNA could be split into two. DNA itself could be split into two. Nucleic acids are split into two, DNA and RNA. Whereas in animal cells, DNA can further be split into two. That is nucleic, or oh, sorry, nuclear DNA, nuclear DNA and mitochondria DNA. Nuclear DNA is found in the nucleus, while mitochondria DNA, which is just a very small fraction of DNA, is found in the mitochondria, in the in the in the mitochondria. The mitochondria are little organelles that are involved with respiration or involved with energy, okay, production of energy to power the cell, okay. So in them, there is little portions of DNA are domiciled there, okay. One of my videos sometime soon, I should be talking about in detail about uh, mitochondria DNA. But for now, it will be okay for you to know that it is one of the locations outside of the nucleus in animal cell where the DNA can be found, okay? And, and in addition to that, you know that the mitochondrial DNA is maternally inherited, okay? But next time we'll look at that, okay? Then apart from the mitochondrial DNA, in plant cells, DNA can also be found in plasmids. Plasmids are also in, in plasmids. Okay, so we have empty DNA and plasmid. So DNA is located in the nucleus, vast majority of it in the nucleus. Then we have other smaller portions found in the mitochondrial DNA in terms of um, animal cells or in plasmids in terms of plants. Okay, both plasmids and mitochondrial DNA, they are scattered in the cytoplasm of the cell. All right, so... However, uh, RNA is not found in the nucleus. RNA is found uh, predominantly in locations in the cytoplasm of the, of the cell, okay? They are not found in the nucleus, okay? So, um, in terms of replication, DNA is replicated from existing DNA. Remember that from, I thought, I, I thought that in one of my previous videos, on uh, central dogma of science so you may want to go look that up so dna is replicated from dna existing dna however rna is only uh, made from existing uh, rna from existing uh, dna rna is manufactured from dna all right rna is made from dna but dna is oftentimes made from existing uh, uh, dna Okay, so uh, it functions to, to, to the function also of, of DNA in terms of storage, whereas RNA has multiple functions. There are different kinds of RNA and they have multiple functions, but pretty much most of those functions, they have to do with uh, gene uh, expression. So um, I think uh, that is that about uh, nucleic uh, uh, acids. Like the video share and, and and like and and subscribe i'll be with you in my subsequent
video.